Let's move on to the next question. So the diagram shows a circle with center O. This is center O. The radius here is 8, which means this also will be 8, right? Now the points A and B lie on the circle, and the tangents at A and B meet the point T. So they meet at the point T. Now we, I can see this is the same as this, same as this as well. So what do we know? If the tangent meets the, I mean the point A meets the, the center, it will mean that this have to be 90 and this have to be 90. This is a theorem you have to know. I think we have learned this in circle theorem in O level as well. If you have a tangent at the point here, the point meets your center O, 90 and 90. Okay, great. Now let's move on. Uh, we have this, this is 15, part 1. We have to show the angle AOB is this. AOB will be this angle, correct to 3SF. So how can you show this? So pretty easy. Uh, there's many ways, obviously. I mean, one of the ways I, I have just figured out is we can actually break this down into two equal pieces. Right? Let's cut this down into two equal pieces. Now, if I want to take this one out, for example, I can take this triangle out. This is 90, and this should be something like this. Right, let's say that's the top one. This is 90 over here. This is the angle. This is 8, O, B, T. This is 15 right here. Now, we have a right angle triangle. We know the two sides. We're trying to find the angle. We can use Socatois, obviously, right? Because this is a right angle triangle. We're trying to find the angles given two sides. This is the, what side is that? This is the A side, this is the O side. So we have to use tan. So tan of the angle, O, have to be the opposite side, which is this one, 15, over the A side, this. So O have to be tan inverse of 15 divided by eight. So let's find out. Tan inverse of that. We have to find in, uh, obviously in um, uh, radians, that will be 1.080839. Now again, this is this this is just the the this side. This is just the one side. But now obviously we know this top side and the bottom side are the same. So the angle here will be the same thing as well. So multiply by two. Let's see what do we get. Times two, that will be 2.1616. So correct to 3SF, that should be. 2.16 radians shown as required. Okay, that is part one of the question. Now for part two, we have to show the perimeter of the shaded region, which is this one right here. We have to find that, not show that. So again, how do we find the perimeter? Is the distance around the object. So we can see it should be AT plus BT and plus BA. Now, AT plus BT is equal to 30. Now, BA is the arc length, right? So, arc length is R times theta is the angle. So, 30 plus R is 8. Theta is 2.1616. This times 8 plus 30. That should be 47.3. Correct to 3SF. Of course, you have to write centimeters over here. Now finally, if you want to find the area of the region, we can just use uh, this one, for example. We can first find this one, and then multiply by 2 to find this one. Obviously, it's uh, not too bad. So we can first find the area of the whole triangle. Of the whole triangle, We can do triangle will be what? Because it is a right angle triangle, we can do half. Time base is 15 times the height, it will be 8, that should be 4 here, 60, that's the area of this triangle. Now we do not want this part, so this is area of sector, that will be half, r square, which will be 8 square, and the angle will be 2 point, this is, not, this is only half the angle, my apologies, that should be 1.0808, so let's do that. Half times 8 square times 1.0808. That should be 34.586. So 
the area for just for this side just for just for this side will be this one minus this so 60 minus 34.5 8.6 that should be 25.414 but again we understand that this and this are the same so we just have to multiply by 2 to find the whole thing right that should be 50.8 correct to 3SF for the area of the shaded region so of course you have to write centimeters square for the area and that will be a question in relation to circular measure.